Here we go. Let's make it quick. This house is fully sheetrocked. The reason I did a service upgrade is because they added two systems on the complete opposite end of the house as the panel. So this is how we did it. We came out of the back of that four square into a bell box. That got me one of the systems up into the attic. And I'm going to go across the attic with some Romex. I liquid tighted to get through that bullshit insulation and I didn't want to deal with it. Changed over to Romex and went all the way down to the other side of the house. Went into the back of a bell box with my Romex because I need a transition to THHN or THWN to go down the EMT you'll see in a second. There's my bell box to make my splices up high, EMT with rain tight fittings over to this one. This is Samsung number one. I label each system one and two and where they came from. I have a sub panel in the attic, very convenient, that was existing to power up this guy over here. Give me power to the attic outlet that's needed in this weather resistant, tamper resistant GFI for outside. Look at attic sub panel. Label everything up nice. You don't know who's coming behind you. Simplify this shit. There we go. Up to the attic. Now let's take a look. There's the T-stat. Here's the air handle in the attic. That was the ducted portion of the system. There's my outlet. I use a dual function outlet because I have a nipple and conduit. And we're wrapped up. Let's go.